Okay, just a quick video of the uh, 1961 Defender uh, Hybrid. So a little bit of a front end work here to give it the Defender look. See the side. See the custom work on the hood. See the Mach 5 wheels. And then the overall new paint job, snorkel, new roof. Just put that on yesterday. Uh, and then on the inside, you'll see the custom dash, custom machined plate, bloody knuckles, an oil dripper, a personal touch there. Um, leather defender seats, custom center console, custom stereo, custom subwoofer under here, custom speakers put into the doors which are 2010 defender doors that I just put on. Um, and then in the back, you got the jump seats, which you see here. Just get that like that. Release. And then you've got the jump seat on each side. And you see here the functional seat belts. I had to put an offset here to accommodate for the custom roll bar uh, and you see how it is mounted through the roof. This is a custom soft top because it's an 88 inch with a uh, Defender bulkhead. Um, it has to be customized uh, from all wheel trim in the UK. And then I had a custom lock box put in back here. Uh, a lot of personal meaning to that one but I uh, can take you through that separately. All right. I'll pan back, get the rear, and that's it. Okay, so there's the 61, there's the snorkel, you see the custom roll bar. Um, down here, you see the winch. Um, that's the original plate that was on it when it was on the cover of Land Rover magazine in uh, 2000. You see the skid plates, you see the plates on everything, and you see the coil suspension under there. It's got some really good articulation. And if I scroll under here, you see it's got the Range Rover um, frame that was put on it, uh, rewelded between the axles, and you see the stainless steel um, uh, MagnaFlow muffler there. It's got a pretty nice throttle to it. And the coil back here, you see it there. And what I'm going to do now is show you the hood and the engine. This has got a, uh, sorry, a 1998 Range Rover V8. Uh, little Brock carburetor. Uh, as I mentioned before, it's got a brand new Defender bulkhead up there. And you see here the air breathers from the axles are brought up to the top as well. And a couple of funky nigglies here with the, uh, the winch uh, plug. And it's got a heavy duty uh, forklift uh, radiator there. Um, I'm going to close this. Here you see the winch, same uh, plate that was on the cover of April edition 2000 Land Rover magazine, Land Rover Monthly, and skid plate. Here's my plate. And I'm going to get in and start it. Hold that. Okay, uh, uh, LT77 transmission, uh, differential, low, high, emergency. Put in a custom um, ignition switch here so that I could have the same key 
uh, an ignition switch for the, the the doors, which the new locks that I put on the doors. Um, all of this is customized, as you can see. Uh, this is a battery cutoff switch. I'm going to turn that on. Uh, you'll hear the uh, fuel pump come on once I start this. Position two. You'll see the battery coming up, and then we got a start button over here. Here it started right up. And you can hear from the uh, sound of the MagnaFlow a pretty heavy-duty uh, engine back there and a heavy-duty uh, throttle. Stereo is uh, custom. I sit and wait as an angel contemplate my fate. This was custom fab so that I could fit this in. This engine ignition switch came with the mounts to mount on the side of the steering column for a newer Defender. So that's a switch for a 2010. So I had that custom fab by a friend of mine, Pat. And uh, other than that, this is a custom LaSalle dash. Obviously this is the dash that came with the 61. This came with the uh, uh, customized with the uh, diamond plate and all the custom gauges. Uh, custom uh, custom steering wheel as well. Okay, uh, that's about it. We're going to uh, go take this out.